Okay, yep, part number four. Um, we're moving along slowly. Uh, <clears throat> yes, so we're sticking with Claire this time. We haven't switched. Um, I think we stick with Claire for a while now. In fact, I think we stick with Claire through this whole video. Um, yeah, but basically now that we've picked up the diamond key, we're going to use it. Only two doors actually use that now that I think about it. Oh yeah, we also picked up the lighter, so we can do this. How would you even set that up? So you light a fire and it burns just a tiny portion of a picture. And then it happens to be a jewel behind it that falls out. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the logic in these games is very video gamey. Well, yeah. to that cop who pointed the gun at our heads, I wonder. Yay, let's go blow stuff up. Supposed to show you someone is bitten by a zombie? Alive. Yep. In fact, don't wait till they're bitten by zombies. <laughs> it's shoot yeah. them anyway. Keep them turning on you. Yeah. Which they inevitably will. Mm. Have you ever seen the um uh the videos for uh, Resident Evil 1.5? So. We're going to get the chance you should look them up because, I mean, it, it's odd that they sort of decided to cancel Resident Evil 1.5 when they did, um, because it was apparently 70% complete. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Yeah. Um, yeah it, it, basically, Resident Evil 1.5 was, was a lot more like Resident Evil 1 in graphically, at least. And, um, but it had um, some of the um, things sort of gimmicks and stuff that eventually made it into Dead Rising, um, which I'll explain to you after this cutscene.
not when I turn the light on. Wait. Let me go! Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. <laughs> Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me! What was that? That's what I was telling you about! It's here! Sherry, wait! God, I hate that girl. Nothing makes a creepy <laughs> game creepier than creepy little kids. Oh, she's just so annoying. She just whines all the fucking time. Chief? Something shiny on the desk. He's gone. Yes, it's another key. Or shiny, you would never have seen. <laughs> well, yeah, you're probably right, actually. So that happened pre rendered background. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Uh, Resident Evil 1.5. Um, yeah, it actually had a lot of stuff in it that kind of eventually made its way into Dead Rising, such as, um, your clothes would get, um, torn and covered in blood, and, um, uh, you'd be able to change them. Um, zombies would be able to break down doors and barricades over time, or be able to crawl underneath them. And, um, it was, it was kind of just a sort of far more ambitious game, but I think that, um, you know, as I said, graphic very simple to one. Ooh. Zombies look pretty yeah, much the same. Uh, yeah. Pretty much the biggest amount Five, of the seven. There's about six or seven, I'd say. Also, I, I think after Ooh. so many different versions of Resident Evil 1, I had the Resident Evil 1 that had the uh, re-release of the greatest hits, that had the director's cut. I think Resident Evil 1 kind of showing its age at that point. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, it, it was rather ambitious, you know, because I said, you know, changing clothes and stuff like that. You know, I mean, we didn't see that again until... I hate when they fucking do that. I love it when you kick your head off. Yeah, it was a far more ambitious sort of uh, game, but, you know, as I said, graphically, it was good. And, um, I, I don't know if many people, like, complain, but I think they kind of realize they could probably better if they start the game from scratch. Yeah, use the same concepts and bring it and put it into a different game. Well, the story changed uh, somewhat as well, because Claire wasn't in it. Um, I think it was some sort of biker chick uh, named um, Ellie, I think. I, I'm probably wrong on that. Um, uh, Leon was in it, though, uh, and he was a police officer. Uh, and it, it did start off in the Raccoon City Police Station, although this police station looked a lot different. And, um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, the Birkin family, who you've met Sherry, uh, but also her mother and father were in it, and they were survivors who you had to help escape. Because you could actually do that, you could, um, find people, and then they'd follow you around and help you. But you have to keep them alive. Right, that, that's that's the game that you like, need escort mission. Yeah. Well, that's what happened in um, Dead Rising, of course. Oh, and we're at the end of the part. <laughs>